Hi guys, so it's Francesca. For those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, I'm Francesca. And join me as I try to embark on an eight hour study day as I try to tackle my A-levels, biology, chemistry, and maths in preparation for my exams. So first of all, I just refer to my Easter revision timetable that I made. Um, I'll okay, insert a link to the video where I actually take you subjects. through this the process of making your own timetable. And the main reason for this is just to identify the main tasks that I want to complete during my study period and to help me structure my day a little bit. <laughs> So it's about 8 o'clock right now and I'm super peckish so I've just grabbed my favourite cereal and a glass of water for my breakfast. And most of us know that breakfast is super super important, um, it helps jumpstart our metabolism, it gets us in the right frame of mind um, to learn and to be productive. So whilst eating my breakfast I decided to do my first task which was to do a paper 3 in maths and this was in stats and mechanics. The paper was two hours long however because I'm in a more comfortable environment and I'm eating my breakfast I decided to give myself a bit longer than that. I've tried to mimic exam conditions as much as I can meaning I've tried not to use my textbook. I do find this module of maths quite challenging due to the sheer volume of text um, within the questions themselves however I do enjoy stats and mechanics because after endless amounts of practice questions you do get accustomed to a certain style it's quite nice to see similar questions to those that you've done before during a revision So here I've encountered a forces question in the mechanics section and I really struggled to visualise um, the question so what I did was I grabbed a scrap piece of paper and a felt tip and I drew it on a larger scale in order to visualise it a bit better and I think it's really important to exhaust all styles of learning during a revision to see what style fits best for you. In this instance it really helped to have that visual diagram and that visual aid and after numerous attempts I did manage to get the answer. mechanics um, the mechanics part to my stats and mechanics paper and I did struggle for a couple of the questions but thankfully a lot of the questions were show that so when I didn't get the answer yeah, I knew yeah. I'd gone wrong but I managed to do the whole paper so now I'm just going to go through the mark scheme this will take me about 10 to 15 minutes So overall in this paper I did get 90% which is 90 marks out of the 100 available although I did take half an hour longer than what would be available in the real exam. Um, so what I do now is I use a post-it note to write down the questions and the key topics that I've struggled at or where I lost marks and in, in a few weeks time I will or in a few days I'll return to the question and I'll attempt it from scratch to see if I've made any improvements.
So it's just gone 11 and I'm going to move on to doing some biology. I'm going to do some immune system exam questions from exam pro and this is from year one. However, I found that I don't have enough time to rewrite notes. So what I'm going to do is answer exam questions and using my mark scheme and using my notes, I'm going to refresh my knowledge on this year one content. So the reason I like to write in bright coloured pens is because I enjoy it, um, it helps the words stand out and it, it just makes revision a little less bland. In the background I'm playing some music so I found this super cool YouTube radio station that plays 24 hours of like lofi hip-hop beats um, really good for studying and I tend to like to play non-lyrical music to stop myself from going crazy but lyrical or loud music tends to distract me so I usually avoid that when studying <laughs> I've kind of been distracted like it originally was to check BBC news but then obviously I got distracted so I'm gonna use this Panadora app um, I forgot to use it before but it's called Forest and it's a really good app it blocks access to all like apps um, for the length of time that you select it goes up to two hours and it starts at 10 minutes I'm going to select one hour that will give me enough time to finish these biology questions So using my red pen, I'm just using the mark scheme available on Exam Pro to mark my answers. Um, I find this a good source of revision. When I'm using the mark schemes, I tend to rewrite the mark scheme answers in order to learn key phrases that examiners want. So now I've just grabbed a couple of flashcards and I'm basically going to write some of the mark scheme answers that I'm consistently seeing on the mark scheme. Um, with biology and chemistry and physics they tend to repeat questions and it will be the same kind of answer so this will be really useful in the future. <laughs>
So as you can see here, I've just grabbed my CGP um, textbook for biology and I use the textbook to reinforce my flashcards and to annotate my mark scheme basically. So my lovely sister notices that I need a food break. through this booklet of period three. So I've tried to my best ability to fill this out without my notes. So now I'm going to mark it using my notes and using the exam like questions that I've done. And I'm also gonna play Snap Revisor's video. In the meanwhile, I'm also gonna make exam styled flashcards. So it'll be question and answer on key facts about period three. Hi guys. In this video, we're going to look at introducing transition metals, filling up the d-orbitals of those transition metals, and then finally, we're going to summarise. I literally got a set of flashcards that I've made. Well, I haven't made them, but 
I cut the bigger ones into smaller ones to save paper and also I don't need a lot of writing space, especially for chemistry. So I've just literally put all the information on these um, exam questions, on my notes, onto these small exam flashcards. To keep them secure, I'm literally going to make a hole punch there and I'm literally going to take a key ring and secure each one of them. Open. my chemistry rounds 4 15 I had a 10 minute break and then I moved on straight away to a chemistry paper one I'm really annoyed because I filmed the footage I filmed about 20 minutes worth as you can see in the video I'm flicking through the paper that I sat I found the paper quite exciting because I've done a lot of the questions before on exam pro and because I've been doing exam focused questions on specific topics I found that that helped build the foundations I needed and the skills I needed to answer a full exam paper. So the paper took me from around half four to around six o'clock and after completing the paper I was completely frazzled. I could, my brain could just no longer take it. Um, so I just spent the last half an hour of my study marking my paper and just having a mental break. So thank you so much for getting to the end of my video. I actually quite enjoyed filming this study with me. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much guys. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. And just thank you for all of your support. Stay tuned, subscribe and see you next time.